welcome. Thanks for coming out. It is a nice day out here, not too hot. Um, so um, I'm very excited about this piece. Um, I have a long history with this concept and this idea of what I was trying to do. So it started a few years ago. Um, in 2021, I was accepted into the Human Trafficking Leadership Academy, which is through the Office of Trafficking in Persons and the Human Health Services Program. So my background has been in mental health for about 15 years. Um, I have background in art and psychology. So I've worked a lot with um, trauma and a lot of the survivors coming out of uh, trafficking situations. Um, and so when I went into the program, they were recruiting for um, the border. And so there was six of us that got accepted into the program, different um, professionals, different backgrounds. And we put together a recommendation report for the government and for local officials and cities on preventative efforts for migratory populations. So we were specifically looking at labor trafficking for the migrant population. And through that work, which was about six months, and I learned a lot. It was a good um, like community shared knowledge experience, which I love to collaborate with people. Post that, there was an opportunity to submit a proposal for them to provide additional support so you can turn it into more of like a community effort. Um, so that's the history of this mural. So I submitted a proposal. I have a strong passion for art and trying to bring what art can do and it speaks all languages. It can come and begin a dialogue or begin some kind of conversation or some kind of curiosity around what it means or what it represents. And it's subjective, so it can mean and represent things to different people, which is the beauty of it. So the proposal got accepted, which was great. And then I came to Art League Houston for obviously the mission vision of what they do within the community. So it's a really good partnership. So I do appreciate them also for supporting this project. Very passion project for me. And um, so part of the mural was on one day I invited Santa Maria Hostel, it's a residential treatment facility for women here in Houston. They have specifically a trafficking program. So I've worked with them in the past. So they came out on Tuesday, and there was about seven advocates. Um, they came out and they painted with me on the mural. So they were able to participate in this. We had a conversation around it and follow up will continue for me as far as bringing dialogue to the community um, trying to partner with different artists, different organizations, so that art can begin to talk about different social issues that are not just important for me, but for the community that I live in. Um, so I'm originally from El Salvador, and my family came to this country, and we were undocumented. And so there's a lot of uh, things resonate with me from what the journey is for a migrant. Um, so this is what the mural depicts. Um, the background is the landscape referencing Central America. So during the project, we look specifically at the triangle, which is Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, and the migratory population coming up and the risk factors they face with labor trafficking um, once they arrive here. So the background is in reference to those countries, the hills, the volcanoes, the bird is the national bird of El Salvador. So it's the Torogos, which for us represents liberty and union. And that's also on our flag. The butterflies are, they're symbolic. So when I was painting them, so many people came and talked to me about the butterflies and what it meant for them. So that was really nice to connect with the community and what the butterflies represent for a lot of people. They're very symbolic transformation change the monarch has been linked a lot to the dreamers um, who come and want to pursue higher education and so it's a reference to for me transformation with the narrative of like seeing people with their strengths and their resiliency and what they're capable of doing and so in the work i've done in mental health that's what i've seen is the strength and resiliency the post-traumatic growth of what a human being is able to do. And so depicting that with bright colors um, to capture that for me is to capture that hope, to capture their, their energy, um, their spirit, 
So those are the colors I picked that kind of hopefully catch your eye. The sun depicting her as kind of her grace, her hope, her journey, and then being at peace and freedom when she arrives, right? Which wherever that is for, for people when they're looking to establish a home, looking to establish a family. So this mural, um, just I love the way it came together for me through the, the years of just doing the work and then pivoting to kind of incorporating art a little bit more and so that's kind of the journey i'm on right now is also as an artist um, mental health advocate community organizer mom i mean all of it i feel like i wear different hats but that's the essence of what i do want to do with communities um, field prevention efforts education efforts and use the art to connect and uh, build resiliency for, for everyone. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for Susanna? Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.